Today we are taking it back to Walmart to potentially find some packs because we haven't done this in a while. Let's see if we can find some awesome packs at Walmart or Target or somewhere. Time to All right, we have some Crystal Beast decks. Never actually bought some of these. We got one maximum gold. Legendary Duelist Season 3. Some more midterm. Hey, this is actually a really good deck. Very nice. So, Dino Masters. Ooh, Power of the Elements is not bad. We got Metazoo. Of course, that's still here. Shocking. Digimon. Starter deck. Cool. Garbage Pale Kids. That is creepy. Magic the Gathering Dominaria. The cool gorilla looking dude. What is this? Unfinity. Yeah, these are strange. What are these? They don't look like magic at all. Never seen that before. Got more of these uh, Pokemon scam packs that are just like the Yu-Gi-Oh! ones we opened, except they have 20 cards and they're probably just as bad value. I think we'll probably get five of these and five of these. And have like 10 packs and go somewhere else too. All right, we picked up a few packs, but man, value for buying this kind of stuff is absolutely terrible when you buy it right out of the thing. I spent $81 on 10 packs and a maximum gold mini box. So yeah, just buy booster boxes, guys. Use Sassiato, use my code Sassiato, save yourself some money. But this has been fun with the vlog. We're gonna go check out another place. Hopefully get more than this. This is probably not enough for one video. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, Darkwing. Ooh, duels from the deep, looking good already. More coat and tab. Oh, these are nice sleeves, like these. Miracle Fusion sleeves. Insane, that looks amazing. Metazoo again, of course that's not bought. We got a mad, that's pretty sick. Cool Pokemon stuff. Ooh, the one touches. There's actually more than I was expecting. Iron Hero Academia. They always have Dragon Ball Z here for some reason. Oh, the Midget Force, look. Get a few of these. Get a few uh, Darkwing, I think. That'd be pretty decent. What's down here? Pokemon Battle Academy, we got binders, we've got, okay, more speed duel stuff, of course. We've got the Legendary Duelist Season 3. Okay, all the garbage is down here. Inferno AV, we're gonna open some Pokemon, probably not. What is this? This thing is massive. Includes trading card accessory bundle, storage box, that's actually a dope storage box, it's huge. You get some, uh, some basketball, draft picks, okay. Not that exciting, we want some NBA, not college, I think. Cool. Oh, and we have a Mega Ten. Time for a little Mega Ten action. My grandma. Then we got uh, Matthew Stafford, not having a great season. We've got some Magic the Gathering again, hockey. Looks like there's a few things here. It's actually more than usual. All the more than that. More of the decks, of course, so very cool. <laughs> This stuff is insanely expensive. It's $50 for seven packs, I think. We got a Dragon Ball pack, because why not? And then a 10. So we bought a total of 17 packs, a 10, and a mini box. We spent $131. You can just buy two booster boxes for like 60 bucks. Use my code, much better deal, but uh, this is still fun. So I think this is good enough for a video. We're gonna see, I'm just wandering around the parking lot talking. I need to find my actual car, but we're gonna head back and open these up in the studio. So I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, we just got back from Walmart and Target. We're going to be opening up everything that we got there, and hopefully we're going to pull something awesome. But first, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this first edition Dimension Force booster box. We got a few of these packs, so hopefully we can pull something good there. And then hopefully the winner of the giveaway can pull a Starlight as well. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know what you think about these vlogs going to Walmart and Target. Do you enjoy them? Do you want to see more of them? Do you want to see more stuff at other stores as well? Just let me know. All right, let's get started with our opening. We have Dimension Force first edition. Hopefully we could pull like an amazing pack out of like Target or Walmart. I haven't pulled like anything like insane, like a Starlight or a Ghost from Walmart before. So this could be a nice first time to do it. I'm down to start now. Well, we gotta be careful. One, two, three, four. Throwing the cards everywhere. We have Haunted Zombies. Let's see if we can pull something good from our local stores. Let's see with the biz blip. I mean, not local, like card store. We might have to do like a video going there at some point. I keep wanting to do that. There's a super rare. Uh, I just haven't done it yet. So maybe we can do that in the future. We have a Darkwing Blast pack up next. 
we can go see what our locals has for us. We can pull something big. I think that would be a lot of fun. Also, let me know. I think we might do like a Walmart versus Target video at some point. If you guys want to see that, hit me up or not hit me up. Let me know in the comments. But one, two, three, four. You can also hit me up on like Instagram or Twitter, something like that at Ruxin34. We have a Taseya. Psychic Rover, we got Amazonas Golden Whipmaster, Naturia Camellia, Tear Elements Heartbeat, okay, Godi Cosmos, Amazonas Secret Arts, Amazonas Spiritualist, Prediction Princess, Terio Tree. I was pretty excited to pick up some Power of the Elements because we did open a lot of this, but this set is so good. Like, I'm just excited to open it up, potentially pull something really nice. So let's see if we can pull some of those Starlights. We never pulled Ultimate Slayer. So, I mean, it might have to happen right here. One, two, three, four. And by Ultimate Slayer, I mean the Starlight. We have Godi Chain, the uh, Karator Hin, the Hidden Gem of the Seafront, the Morphtronic Converter, the Sullyek, Branded Expulsion, the Gunkin Suship Shari Red. Tier Elements Havness, the Orbit, and a Scareclaw Lightheart. That is an ultra rare, our first non-guaranteed foil of the video. I think it's a couple bucks, so we will take that. Not bad at all. We also picked up a Dragon Ball card game. I just decided I wanted to go with this because I did used to open this on my channel like way back in the day. It was a lot of fun. Also, Rhyme Style gave me one of the cards the other day and I was like, man, these cards look good. Let's try and open up some more of this and see if we can pull something cool. All right, so I don't really dabble with this very much anymore, but I do want to see what we can pull. I think there's like, what is it? Special rares or something? and then there's like a high, high rarity. It's like the insane ones. I don't know. I, I can't remember. It's been a few years since we've actually done it. Let's just open this up just for a little bit of fun. Let's see what we can get. The Demon God Salsa. Very cool. Pan growing up fast. Growing up fast. Nice. Saiyan Determination. South Guy. The Chi Chi Promise Fulfilled. Bardock. Pan. We've got God, but not forgotten. We've got the... Oh, wait. Is this a hollow? I can't tell. No, it's common. Okay. It kind of looks like a hollow. Sun Goten growing up fast. Oh, and there we go. We have a uncommon. This is a shiny uncommon Piccolo facing new foes and a Krillin skills improved. So I think this is our foil looking dude. Very, very cool. Awesome pull. I don't really know if it's that good, but very nice. Tama, will we get the scapegoat? If we pull a scapegoat out of like five packs, I'm going to be very upset. I'm not going to lie. After all we did, uh, I don't think you can do a pack trick on these because, you know, it's weird stuff. Fiend grieving. Oh, there it is. Labyrinth, Labyrinth. Okay, there's our super rare. It would have been like fifth, I think. If it, yeah, it's very hard to keep up with on those. Back to Dimension Forest. Daifo. We have a booster box being given away in this video of this set. So make sure you guys enter that one. We have first edition Daifo. Can we pull the Ghost Bell, which I've never pulled. So that would be pretty nice. I, another Starlight that I have not pulled. Very difficult pull. Let's see if we can get it. Colonel on C-String. Exclusion. Orochi. We got the Warrior Rocks. We got the Rux and Special of the backup team. Predator Plant. Trantis. Therion Bull A.N. We got the General Probe and a Noah Punk Deer Note. Okay, very nice. Deer Note's actually a pretty nice card. So that's a super sick ultra rare. Very good. All right, next let's do this Mega 10 because we got a 2020. I assume this is a 2022 Mega 10. I actually don't really know because they kind of look the same. Just like the 2020s, they all look very similar. Oh no, it's 2021. Oh no, these are so bad. Okay, yeah, at this point they've been reprinted into the ground. So really we're looking for TTT, I think. I think some people are selling these for like 10 bucks. I know Sassy was selling some it was like a hundred a case so you can get these very cheap at this point um because the reprints have been reprinted again so they're not quite as good let's just see what we can get raiders unbreakable mind all right deep sea minstrel i probably should have checked the back of the tin before i bought it gravity controller thunder hand Ooh, come on thorn of strike and thunder that that's probably one that will actually age well just because it's beautiful Ha <laughs> ha, you gotta be kidding me. I was gonna mention cross out. I was like, well, it's, you know, been reprinted. Cross out got the uh, Starlight or the, not the Prismatic Secret reprint. And this one's not worth as much, but we just pulled the best card from the set, like formerly when it came out. And then Gear is also really good. So honestly, a pretty amazing 10 for like 2021. Let's see what else we can get. I mean, we just pulled that. Can we pull a TTT? I mean, those were like one or two per case. So we just pulled one already. We have the Spirit of Samurai Scarecrow. Oh, Rux and Special into the Invoked Agoya. Ds, which is a nice invoked card. Adamant Spirit Researcher and Virtual World GG. Very nice. All right, one more pack from the Mega 10 2021. That's hilarious. I thought it was 2022 and they just randomly had a 2021. Nice. AIQ, we have Goki, we have Penguin Brave, Gizmech, Adamant Spirit Analyzer, and Tri Brigade Fractal. Pretty cool card. Fan Whites of Torrent Scales and the Chaos. Not bad. Honestly, about as good as you can ask from a 2021 10, to be honest. Back to Power of the Elements, Pote. I'm still trying to look for some tags or whatever, because you know when you buy stuff and there's like the tags? Thank you for purchasing uh, these. Please complete the short survey. Um, no, 
<laughs> but yeah, it, my, the buzzer kept going off in Target when I was leaving. I was like, what is the deal here? So I don't know what's going on with that. But I mean, there's no way we got like didn't scan one of them because it was 50 bucks. There's no way we didn't scan one. Crosskeeper, we've got, oh, a gigantic Sprite. Ruxin Special. That's actually a really nice card. Gigantic Sprite, ultra rare, very solid pull. We'll take that. All right, here is the Saiyan Showdown pack. Somebody sent me this like a while back and I like got it mixed up. I don't remember who sent it to me, but shout out to whoever it was. Saiyan Showdown, 12 card booster pack. Can we get some dope like a seat like a special rare a, i think there's like what is it supers or something i don't remember what the other one's called let's see what we can do there's like sign cards in some of these which is really cool we have uh oh tian shinhan shinhan there we go broly i haven't seen dragon ball in a while so i gotta remember how to pronounce these higher dragon we got the uh unison the amond the north kai we got north and south kai now king kai's planet awesome broly slumbering demon mentors rescue we've got the rescue the vegeta's powerball Ooh, there we go. That's a hollow. That is a common hollow. Sun Gohan, Rachel Fury. Oh, and then we got a, what is this? Is that a special rare? <laughs> I think we just got one. I didn't know you could get two. So I guess you're guaranteed to get like a reverse like Pokemon and then you get another one. So we just got a special rare, which is insane. Piccolo Battle of the Tree. So another Piccolo hollow card. That's awesome. I think special rares are like, I mean, like maybe like one per box or something like that. So that's actually an insane pull. And that's been sitting in here for like a year. I'm interested to see like what that's valued at. That's actually pretty cool. So I'm glad I threw those in. I really do like the Dragon Ball card game. I just think it looks cool. It's fun to open. It's kind of like Pokemon in that way. Pokemon is fun to open and looks really cool. I don't actually do anything with the cards besides like, you know, maybe like look at them or put them in a binder or whatever. I guess this is what I do with Yu-Gi-Oh, to be honest. I do a little bit of playing, but not too much. But some of you guys are like players and you don't want to do that. All right, we have a duel. I just did a ruck. I just did a pack trick, and I don't think there is one. Uh, Labyrinth Archfiend. Let's just go. Imperial Iron Wall. I rucks and special. Pass three cards for the Labyrinth setup, and that is just a super rare. Okay, somehow that actually worked. The pack trick. It was at the very back. I don't know how that worked. Very weird, but I will go on to Darkwing Blast. This might actually be like a decently long video because the vlog part I actually like recorded a lot more than usual. Let me know if you like that more where I kind of go through everything that they have there so you guys can kind of see like what is available at my local Walmarts and stuff. We got the Great Noodle Inversion, Black Shadow Squall, Naturia Blessing. We got the Amazonus Augusta, Goaty Cosmos. We got the War Chief. We got the Exeep. Tier Elements Heartbeat. And Cash Tier Unicorn. Whoa, that's a good one. That's a very solid one. Too bad it wasn't the Fenrir. That card's like 55 bucks right now. I honestly should have gotten more Darkwing Blast because of like, uh, yeah, the insanity of like the Fenrirs and stuff like that. Let's keep going. Let's see what we can pull. Power of the Elements. Will we pull something epic? There's so many good cards in this set. Let's see if we can pull a Starlight. The Aenok. Terrors of the Underroot. We got the Pit Knight Early. Rika Princess. Venus Lift. Sprite Gamma Burst. Morphtronic Scannon, Venus Lift of the Changing Season, and favorite contact. We got another Ultra Rare. I don't think this one's too crazy, but it's another Ultra. We've pulled tons of Ultras. Have we pulled any secrets yet, though? I don't think so. All right, Tactical Masters. Let's keep going. These blisters, I always forget how long it takes to open blisters. It's like an extra 10 seconds because you got to open that part. Then you got to get to the actual pack, so it can take a lot longer. Uh, no, no. Uh, I keep saying Rux and Special for pack trick. No pack trick. Rux and Special. That's why I just knew it was coming. I predicted it. Valence World, there was nothing in that pack. Well done. I just completely messed that one up. We have a Dimension Force. Well, I mean, I guess besides ghost spell what are we even looking for because i think therion's kind of fell off i don't know what's great in this set right now maybe we'll find out one two three four this is a pack trick not a rux special no rux special on this here we go dogmatic aturgy the brandon lost people apparently people were telling me at the ycs they're like yeah i just say rux and special all the time now i'm like i'm sorry it's my fault cadet we have the uh parasomnia pillow the duke y'all we're rock medium and a Therion charge, more Therion stuff. So Therion's like, we're good for like a week, it feels like. And then they just completely fell off, which is kind of weird. Let's go to Power of the Elements, Pote. Let's see if we can pull a Secret Rare out of here. Let's make it a Sprite Blue. Let's make it a Ultimate Slayer, a um, whatever that field spell was called. That was $80, the, you know, the field spell, <laughs> whatever it was. The Melfi Wally, Enic Sentry. We got the Overfusion, Sprite Carrot. Sprite Gamma Burst. We got the Morphtronic Earphone, Morphtronic Scannon, Venus Lift, and oh, a Shining Neo's Wingman. So many Ultras. This looks like weirdly faded for some reason. I don't know why. We'll take it though. It's like worth a little bit, I think. All right, this Tactical Masters, then we're going to do the Maximum Gold El Dorado and then finish out with the last three packs that we have. So honestly, we've had some decent pulls so far. It's hilarious that our, I think our best pull was out of the Dragon Ball pack, which is really funny. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, I did it again. Whoops. Runic Slumber. 
Labyrinth Stove, Invader of Darkness, Reckless Greed. Oh no, it's only the last three. I can't hold on to these. It is woo, just fly up like that. So Runic Flashing Fire. It is so hard to do these collector rare packs. They just rock so special so easily. All right, maximum gold time, Mago Eldorado. I wish those were the original because Mago has like gotten actually expensive. Eldorado still got some decent stuff but no access code talker and stuff like that. Wait, actually, doesn't it have it? Wait, this does have access code talker, doesn't it? I can't remember which one is access code talker in. I can't remember at all. So we're just gonna have to go Go here and see what we can figure out. I feel like Ma like Access Code Talker actually is in this one. I can't remember. I, I think the original is better overall though, but it doesn't have Access Code. I can't remember. Let's just see if we can find it. Let's just pull one and figure it out. Chaos Ritual, Meow Meow Mew. We got the Plant Kids Rocket Ride and the Moonlit Chill. Okay, not bad. So a couple of good cards there. Who is glad they're not doing uh, Maximum Gold again or who is upset? Let me know. I'm kind of glad because I think most people just don't like the rarity and it just ends up being really cheap cards and that people don't really care about. But I also don't hate the rarity that much. I just hate playing with these cards. You can really feel like the rarity through the sleeve. It's kind of messed up. I just love the red eyes though out of here. I want them to reprint that in a rarity I actually like really like. We have the Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon, the C-1000. Ooh, IP Mascarena. That's actually pretty dope. We've had some really good pulls today, to be honest, for some random packs. Final pack of Eldorado. Let's see what it will be. Will it be epic? Will it be an access code? Is that even possible? I don't know. Number three, Scrap Dragon. Deep Sea Diva is a great card. I'm going to pull that out. We got the Conquistador of the Golden Land, also good. And then a Book of Moon. Okay, Numeron Network. So, so many good reprints. I think in Mavens, it'll be a lot more fun because there's an actual rarity people like instead of all being the gold rare. Speaking of Mavens, if you guys have not ordered any yet, make sure you use code MAGNIFICENTRUX5 for 5% off with Sassy Auto. You guys can get your booster boxes really cheap. I know I've plugged Sassy like four times. So that's just because it reminded me how much better of a deal it is to buy like a booster box than buy like blisters. So, if you're going to do stuff like that, usually it's better off not to buy it walmart but buying a walmart is fun because it's like you buy it right now and you have it and you're ready to open it you don't have to wait or whatever but you also save a lot of money if you buy like booster boxes and stuff like that sierra cloud decline we got the salmon spirit we got the catalyzer iron digger liger king and a super rare wallow founder of the drudge dragon all right, two packs to go. Tactical Masters and Power of the Elements. Let's go Tactical Masters here and see if we can pull that scapegoat that we've already pulled. Um, we've pulled literally every card out of the set already because we opened so many trying to get scapegoat. Let's see if we can get it again. That would be pretty funny. We got Quick Booster. We've got Pendulum Fusion. Labyrinth, Labyrinth. Okay, so that's what I hate about these. It ruins it so early. It's like the third card. So we're going to finish out with Power of the Elements. Pote, as it's also known. Can we pull a Starlight Rare or just any of the big cards? That'd be nice. All right, this has turned out to be a pretty fun video. I would like to do this more often if you guys enjoyed it. Let's see. Melfi Wally, the Ianac. We've got the Overfusion, Sprite Carrot, Venus Lift of the Flower Buds, Morphtronic Scannon, Scar of the Vendred, Venus Lift of the Thrawing Mountain, Thawing Mountain, and oh, an Ian Wave. I thought it might be one of those big, you know, spell cards, but it wasn't. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content coming up like this. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Cycle, Melancholy, Ananas High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.